Hi, I'm Heather Hubbard. I went from being a lawyer and partner at one of the largest firms in America to becoming an online personality and successful entrepreneur. I know what it takes to rise to the top. I also know all too well the toll it can take on your health and personal life. So how do you shine bright without burning out? How do you chase joy while achieving success? You're listening to the Hustle and Flow podcast. Welcome back to Hustle and Flow. I am your host, Heather Hubbard, and today we are on part two of our four part series that is especially for entrepreneurs. So, May is Small Business Month, and I put together a four part series just for you. Now, what exactly is a small business? Well, I looked it up on the Small Business Association, and it's something like, and I didn't even write it down because I was like, wow. <laughs> It's something like $44 million, like under $44 million and under, I think, 100 employees. So if you're listening to this podcast as an entrepreneur, you are a small business. (laughs) I don't think that, I don't, I could be wrong, but I don't think that if you have over 100 employees and you're making, you know, over $44 million, that this is the place where you're hanging out. I don't know. If you are, happy to have you here. But I think most of you are going to fall in that small business category. So this is for you. Um, Last week on episode 190, we covered the fastest way to 500K. And what I did was really broke down if you're trying to make money as fast as possible, um, what that looks like and what your goals are. So you can go listen to that if you haven't already. Today, we are talking about packaging and positioning your offers. Next week, we have a special guest, Jaquette Timmons. We're, we're going to talk about pricing those offers. And then week four, um, which will be episode 192, we're going to talk about how to find your best clients for those offers. So I hope they serve you well, and it helps you grow your business. Today, with packaging and positioning your offers, I'm actually going to use my business as an example. Um, And so hopefully it will help you understand it a little better. Before we do that, though, quickly, I want to talk about the difference between packaging and positioning. Okay, packaging your offer is really taking your services and saying, these are the different ways in which you can work with me. Now, some of you charge hourly rates for your work. And that's not really what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not a fan of the hourly rate. I think you all know that if you've been listening to me for any time at all. So this is where you would say, there are there's one way, or there are two ways, or there are three ways, however many ways, uh, preferably not that many. These are the ways in which you can work with me. So that is the packaging. The positioning is positioning yourself and your services in the market, in the market. So positioning is your expertise. It is your niche. It is what you do different. What makes you unique, right? So this is your branding, your messaging, all of that. Your packaging of offers is not only a way to sell, it's a great marketing and sales tool. It also makes the delivery of your services not only more efficient, but it allows you to get really, really good at what it is that you do. Now, you can have the exact same service, but position it and package it differently at different times. And this is where I'm going to use my business as an example. Because in so many ways, it really is about staying in front of what is working for you, what is working for your clients, uh, taking into account what's going on with the economy, uh, whether or not you've got a pandemic. There are so many different things that go in to play. So you don't necessarily have to come up with something brand new every single time to meet your clients where they are, but you might repackage it or potentially reposition it. So what I wanted to do is I'm going to go through two examples in my business of how I 
package and position them differently at different times. And you may or may not have actually noticed this, but you'll you'll understand a little bit of the madness today. Um, okay, so my retreats at Miraval. My retreats at Miraval. By the way, when I started the company um, and did the initial branding, the what I said I offered was masterminds, retreats, and unfiltered advice. So in many ways, this podcast is unfiltered advice, but if you've ever worked with me, you also know that that is what I provide. I provide unfiltered advice. Um, and I typically do that in either masterminds or retreats. So the retreat at Miraval, I have been leading six, since 2016. And the overall format of that has always been the same. It has always been four days. It has always been three nights. And the way that I structure those days in terms of breaks and activities, um, the overall concept of that journey has always been the same. But I have positioned and packaged it differently. So when I first started out, the first year I led the retreat there was 2016. And it was called Life and Law in Balance. Life and Law in Balance. The positioning on that was for, as you might guess, lawyers, women lawyers. The very first one, when I was doing the positioning around it, it was mostly for um, big law. So if you were in a medium to large size law firm, in many ways, that's who I was serving. And so it was all about how do you have more balance in your life? How do you have more satisfaction in your career? And how do you have more success in your career? So how are you climbing that ladder? How are you growing your business? The packaging for that was, it was all inclusive. So you pay me a single fee and that covers all of Miraval. That color covers everything that I am doing within the program itself. And it was truly bookended with you show up on day one, you leave on day four, and there was nothing before or after. It was just the retreat. So as the years have progressed, as that has evolved, um, I have played around with the positioning and that sometimes it was not positioned just for big law. Sometimes it was positioned for all lawyers. So it might be um, for small solo entrepreneurs that are lawyers. It might be for those who are in-house, who are doing corporate law. Um, And sometimes it might focus on business development activities, and sometimes it may not. So the positioning, the messaging, who I'm talking to was a little bit different each time. Now, as that has evolved even more, it has not been just for lawyers since maybe 2018. So it no longer was called life and law. I also incorporated it in 2020 as part of my larger mastermind. Like that's how we kicked off the mastermind. Again, always four days, always had the same kind of goals in the back of my mind, but the exact scheduling um, of workshops or what I was teaching, what I was leading, and who I was doing it for could be different. Um, Packaging, packaging. So again, I mentioned the very first one was all-inclusive. I tested at one point. I only did it once. It did not work out well. Um doing it where it was just, here's the fee to come join the program. And then you paid for Miraval separately. So you pay for Miraval on your own and then you pay me a separate fee. It was kind of an accounting nightmare um, with Miraval and it had the least amount of sales of all my retreats. So see, isn't that interesting? So much of what you do as an entrepreneur is about being flexible, it is about being nimble, and it is about testing. It's about just being curious. So everything's an experiment. It's never, this is what I'm doing, if I didn't do it well, it failed. No, all you did was gather data, and it it, that's going to inform what you're gonna do next. So I did that, I did the packaging on that a little bit different one time. But 
And then again, like I said, with the, my 2020 mastermind, it was actually packaged. It was part of the package, um, a larger as opposed to just a one-off. Currently, so let's fast forward to today. That is now called Joy in the Journey. Now, when I put it together, I thought that it would be just the retreat. But because the market is so different right now, I have repackaged it. So and obvious, so it's all inclusive and uh, Miraval is a lot more expensive. We're just, you know, with inflation, everything is more expensive. And even though, even though previously with the retreats, like it was you show up and you end, I did have an offer at the end so that I could upsell into my masterminds. So I was trying to get people into my annual masterminds. So I didn't always seek as much profit on those before because it was often a feeder into the mastermind where I made more profit. And then when I had it as part of the 2020 mastermind, um, I didn't charge, like it, I didn't have a separate fee for it. It was built into the program as, uh, as a whole. And so that was probably the cheapest they ever got it because I wasn't building in profit on that. I was just building in profit for the program as a whole. But as you can see, that looks a little bit different. So now, um, not only do we have the four days, we have a workbook beforehand. That was one of the most common things that I heard over the years was I, I attract a lot of type A people and they're like, I wish that I could have done some more work. <laughs> I would have liked to have dug into things a little bit more before I showed up to the retreat. And so... Based on that, I developed a workbook that is pretty easy, um, but it allow it's eight weeks with the eighth week being at Miraval, which allows you to move through some topics and dig a little deeper as you go. Um, and so that's how Joy in the Journey started. Well, after I finished the retreat in February of this year, I repackaged it again, and it is now not just a retreat. It's far more. Um, it truly is a program, but I did not change the pricing. Pricing is exactly the same. And I did it that way because we are in a really interesting market. People do not have as much cash flow and people are not wanting to use their savings as much because they're worried about where the economy is still going. It still seems a little uncertain. We have a big election <laughs> in the fall. And a lot of people, because they're because they are service-based, because their clients aren't spending as much, they're naturally not spending as much, right? So because of the market we're in, for me, I decided to repackage it in a way that provided even more value. And so it's more of my time, but they're not paying more. And I will likely, if, if it works well, I'll likely keep it this way, but increase the price when the market gets better. So this is, this is how the packaging works. It can change and it doesn't just have to be that price point. Things can move in and out. So now, in addition to the workbook, and the retreat, there are now eight weeks of um, post-retreat masterminding. So there are four sessions for that to help people really work on their goals and to work on their business after the retreat is over. I've also added on quarterly masterminding for alumni. So for the community as a whole, once you have gone through Joy in the Journey, you get access to quarterly masterminding for life. It really is to build this community and it gives you access to happy, healthy, wealthy retreats. So one of the other things that has come out um, is people want to go back to Miraval, but they may not want to repeat the retreat. It is a very deep dive transformational retreat that you wouldn't necessarily repeat back to back. You, you might do it a few years apart, but not back to back. 
And I've had so many people say, like, I just got to get back to Miraval, but I'd love to be with you all. And I took that, right? So, like, part of packaging is you listen to your clients, you listen to your customers, and you try to figure out what it is that they need and they want. And so I knew that they were wanting to come back to Miraval. And so I was able to work with Miraval and contract to say, okay, what if we do this annual retreat where on this case, because I'm not going to lead as much, it's more you are coming to Miraval, we'll have some optional masterminding sessions, but we can do some community stuff. So I can help you plan out what you want to do individually, but There's going to be 20 plus of us there. And so like you're going to be seeing each other nonstop and get to eat together, all that stuff, right? But it allows me to charge a much lower fee. And I then just pass along the reduced rate to them, the group rate for Miraval. So it's now worth a lot more, right? You're getting a lot more for that price. And so that's how I repackaged it. The positioning on it is a little bit different in that, you know, it's no longer just for lawyers. It's for ambitious professional women, um, entrepreneurs. I mostly attract entrepreneurs. And it's all about if you're facing a change. It's, you know how to be successful. You know how to rise to the top. But how do you have clarity around what's next? Uh, you know, sometimes people are thinking of changing jobs. Sometimes people are thinking of retiring. Sometimes people are thinking of starting their own company, becoming an entrepreneur, or they're just, uh, well, sometimes it's personal, right? It's relationship based. You might be caring for your parents or you're in a relationship that's having problems. You're just at a point where things are changing and you want to be super intentional and have a ton of clarity and confidence around what it is you're doing moving forward. And so that is how that has evolved. So I hope that helps you see how when we're talking about positioning and packaging, it can be the same thing you're working on, but you move those levers to increase your sales. Okay. Part two of this example is um, something that I've been offering for years, but it was always called something a little bit different. So the very first time I offered it, it was called Growth Accelerator. And it was basically business development. It's marketing, it's sales, it's personal branding, it's all the things. And um, that was the very, I'm trying to think that might've been 2016. Um, And so it has shown up in so many different forms. I have offered it as a workshop, I have worked with a lot of service-based companies where I go in and I do it as a one-day workshop. I have done it as a one-day event where people flew in to come to Nashville and spend a full day with me in a group setting where we worked on this. Um, I have had it packaged in masterminds. So um, it might be a four-month mastermind, a six-month mastermind, a year-long mastermind, I even did it once as web-based, so it was training. So again, the the essence, the material, what I'm doing is the same, but the packaging of that service, the packaging of that expertise has looked different. The way that you could work with me in that capacity has looked different. Um, So let's say you have something that is really great and it's worked for a long time, but it's no longer selling as well as you would like for it to. A lot of times we think, well, I just have to keep marketing harder, selling harder, or just change up the marketing a little bit different. Like maybe I was doing email and now I need to do social media. Now I need to do ads. Sometimes that's the issue, but if you had something that was already working well, that's probably not the issue. It's probably time to either reposition and or repackage because either you have evolved, your clients have evolved, or the market has evolved. And so you can take the same thing you're doing, but just make some tweaks in the way that you are promoting it and the way that you are selling it. All right. So as I was sharing the very first thing I offered, the way that I offered that was called Growth Accelerator. And I'm bringing it back. 
it's coming back. For those of you who have been like, Heather, please help us with the strategy of our businesses. <laughs> Again, please, please, please. And make it cheaper. Then joy in the journey. Please, please, please. Good news. It is back. It is back. And I'll share more about that. But it it's coming back because of joy in the journey. So as I shared earlier, cash flow has been more difficult for my clients lately. And so they are not necessarily able to invest in something like joy in the journey. It is a premium offer. That is part of my position. It is premium. It is a luxury. It costs a lot to put on. And so I'm not changing. I've, I've changed the packaging in the sense that I'm offering more stuff for the same price. But I have contracts for that and it is my favorite thing to do. So I'm still doing them. But how do you get more clients in the door? Well, if the main objection, the main reason I have people not signing up right now is cash flow, then you better bet I've been focused on how do I get them cash flow? Because that's the quickest fix. Well, this is something I have offered for a long, long time. Um, and I, I stopped, you know, with COVID and when I had the tumor. And I was like, well, I could bring that back because it's going to help them make more money, which will help them invest in joy in the journey if that's a good for, fit for them and that's what they're wanting. So obviously with the business development, the marketing, the sales, that can benefit a lot more people than just joy in the journey. So I'm not, I'm not like joy in the journey is not an upsell after this business program because it's not going to be a good fit for everyone. And you have to apply. You can't just register. But for those who are a great fit and who already want to do it, but are like the only issue is cash flow, I'm now giving them a way to get the cash flow to afford the program. I hope that makes sense. So you can think of that with your clients as well. And cash flow may not be the issue. There's so many different things that could be the issue right now. It could just be like the world in a, is in a really hard, heavy, scary place. Um, it could be uh, that they're worried about getting laid off. I don't know. You know your clients. You know your customers. You know what the issue is. You can, one, repackage or reposition what you have, but you can also add on something else that is cheaper, that is easier for them to consume, that helps them such that they can then move into the other. Um and it can just provide you more cash flow. So the way that I am positioning and packaging this is it is again for small businesses. Um, there were times way back in the day when it was just for lawyers and law firms. Again, it's not. And in fact, this is so heavily focused on entrepreneurs and small businesses that for those who are in big law, which is how I started, it's not as good of a fit for them. Will they, like, could they benefit? Yes. Will some of them still sign up? Absolutely. There are always people who will sign up that are no longer the positioning or the good fit because they know you, they trust you, and they still want it. Like there are big law attorneys out there who have an entrepreneurial mindset. And so it will still work for them. But primarily who I attract and work with at Joy in the Journey, it is consultants, it is coaches, it is someone that is um, maybe they have a side hustle or they're a solo attorney or they have some kind of consulting, right? Like this is primarily who I'm attracting. So this is primarily who I am positioning this for. So again, as I shared, I've offered it in a million different ways, but the way that I'm doing it this summer is six weeks and it is interactive. It is group coaching. It is limited to only 24 people. And then I also have a VIP option for eight people. Um, so that's not 32 total. It's 24 total. And within that eight can elect VIP if they want it to provide even more support. Um, but it's the same framework. It's the same modules, but it allows me to do it in a way where they can get in and out. They don't, they don't need six months to build up they, their cash flow. They need six weeks. And I have taught it in that amount of time. Um, and so you just take everything you know. I know a lot of times, forget the market, 
summer is often a slow time. So, summer is often a slow time. So I've offered some of these one days before and like the mini masterminds over the summer with the same material because it's a great time to do this work when your workload is not as heavy, right? Like you've got more time. So it's a great time to spend. And so that's what we're going to do. Week one, we're going to pick the best offers. We're going to streamline those offers. We're going to talk about how you choose the services and the offers that you really want to dig into and test um, at this time. And then week two, we are going to do personal branding. Week three, we are working on messaging week four, marketing, and week five, sales. And then week six, we'll be putting it all together to have a plan for the rest of the year to test. And then um, I have some bonuses. It's via Zoom. So people will be able to come on. They're still going to have the same homework they've always had, but they're going to be able to go into breakout rooms, get feedback from their peers, which is my favorite way to do this program. Not just the training, because you actually get a ton of feedback. Um, and the way that I lead those feedback sessions, it doesn't matter if they're your ideal client or not, um, because it's very structured in the way that they do it. And then of course, if they do the VIP, they're going to definitely guaranteed to get feedback from me. So it's going to allow them to take something, go put it out in the world and make more money. So that serves them, but it also serves me. Um, I love to help entrepreneurs, but my business had gotten so big. And when I then got sick and everything kind of had to shut down, I really had to pick and choose. So when I came back from my sabbatical, the thing that brings me the most joy is Miraval. And so that's what I started on. And then as I knew I had enough capacity, I was, I was able to say, I can add this back in. And so these are the types of conversations that we'll be having in the Business Accelerator this summer um, for those who are having those same kind of thoughts and conversations, um, either in their own mind or with their um, team members of what do we need to do differently in order to get more sales. There are definitely some people out there who are like having great years, they're killing it. But the vast majority of people who I have talked to, even those who are over a million, this is, this has been a difficult year. And last year might've been a difficult year, but how do we deal with it? How do we focus on it? How do we correct it? And that's why I am bringing that back out. So where are we on time? Okay. We're doing good on time. So I hope that's helped um, for you to understand that once you know your goals, So like last week, right, we're talking about revenue. We're talking about how are we trying to accomplish that? And then this week, it's like, okay, well, I I know what I'm trying to achieve. So how do I now have the right packages, the right offers? And how do I position them in a way that is going to help me get to those revenue goals? Next week, we're going to talk about how do you actually do that pricing um, of those offers. And because like I said, I have offered both the retreat and this um, business development marketing sales material in a million different ways, a million different ways. And I have charged different prices based on how it was packaged, right? Because the, the straight up just web training you're getting versus if there's interaction, right? Like all of that changes the actual price point. So I hope that gives you some ideas on how you can take what you're already doing but just tweak it a little bit. All right. So if you are interested, if you are interested in Growth Accelerator, I would love to work with you this summer. I'm having so much fun just getting back out in the world and connecting with everyone. So if you're like, this is exactly what I need, I would love to help you. Um, You're going to get a ton of value in this four-part series, but if you really want to dig in and really focus on it and have a way to implement and you're you have your homework assignments and you're literally able to move through it in six weeks, um, go check out heatherjoyhubbard.com forward slash growth accelerator. I will put a link in the show notes. Um, Like I said, it's only limited to 24 people because I want to, I want it to be a manageable size. I have worked with that many people before on it. So that, that is a good size. Um, And we get started on June 4th, June 4th. We are going to meet every Tuesday from 1 until 2 p.m. Central Time. And we'll do that for six weeks. 
If you are VIP, you're going to get an extra 30 minutes. So everyone will leave and then just the eight VIP and myself will stay on so that we can go even deeper, get more feedback, 30 minutes extra. And then I also am doing a one-on-one -on -one session with all of the VIPs. And then there is a special bonus that um, we'll be sharing next week. Um, so listen to to that podcast. Although by the time this comes out, I actually think it will already be on the website. So I'll tell you what it is. Um, it is a pricing masterclass with Chiquette Timmons. So once you get all of that fixed, right? Like, so you've got the offer nailed down. You've got the branding, the messaging, the marketing, the sales. Then we're going to have, um, a two hour masterclass with Jaquette. She only does these twice a year, but I am hiring her to do one exclusively for our business accelerator, our growth accelerator group. She was laughing. She was like, I called it the business growth accelerator. The, and I was like, well, I mean, that kind of is what it is. Um, and now I'm saying it the same way, but it's the growth accelerator, uh, just for that group. Um, she's going to come in and do pricing. So then you're going to know exactly what to charge for what you've come up with. And then you just go execute. So, um, I'm super, super excited about it. I would love to work with you if that is a good fit. Um, you can go check it out there. Um, you can pay in full or there are payment plans available. And that is it for today. That is it for today. Go package and position your offers and check out Growth Accelerator um, if it is a good fit for you and you want to grow your business and increase your cash flow this summer. All right. Have a great day. And we'll be back next week with Jaquette Timmons and pricing your offers. Thank you so much for joining me for this week's podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, give the episode a like and leave a comment below so we can keep the conversation going. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a future episode or announcement. Listening on Apple, Spotify, or another podcast app? You can watch the video and join in the after show conversation by visiting hustleandflowpodcast.com.